I bow to you, sir. Come on up, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Cringe on TV is a very professional co host with the Children's Network fundraising group. Cringe is a 10 year old from Jackson, Ohio. She enjoys playing volleyball, acting, singing, and hanging out with raccoons by the river. <laughs> Cringe has two older brothers, which qualifies her for a really, really lightweight boxing title. <laughs> Future plans include taking Broadway by storm, starring in a blockbuster movie, becoming an international recording artist, writing her memoir, then retiring from performing to become the second female in history to join the NHL. <laughs> Even though she's never been on the ice. <laughs> or maybe she'll just choose to be healthy and happy, whichever plan works out best. As you can see, I have long brown hair, which is sometimes curly, sometimes straight, and some mornings when I get up, my mom says it looks like a bird has built a nest in it. <laughs> but I don't care. I don't like for anyone to touch it, and I refuse to get it cut. Because there for a while, I didn't have any, and I did not like that. A few years ago, I was crowned Little Miss at the Festival Queen in my hometown. But even though I was Little Queen, my brothers still picked on me. They didn't treat me like broke, which was very upsetting. <laughs> I had a lot of fun being a little queen, going to the events, and hanging out with the other queens. But what happened during that year was really big and scary in my life. I was diagnosed with leukemia on my sixth birthday. It was a pretty crappy birthday present, I have to tell you. So there I was, halfway through the after queen year, and suddenly I was born. <laughs> when I wore my crown, we had to use a special body to hold it on my head. Here's how my hair fell out. It had been getting thin because of chemo treatments and radiation. And then one morning, it started coming out in big globs. That did not make me happy, but I made a big decision. I discovered that I could pull it all out by the handfuls, and it didn't even hurt. <laughs> So I decided to take control and pull it all out myself. Then my dad did a really silly thing. He had shaved his head so we could be twin ball heads. <laughs> and he took that pile of my hair that I just pulled out and popped it on top of his own bald head. <laughs> it looks like a really bad wig. My dad is such a goof sometimes. But even though when I'm sad, he always tries to make me laugh. My mom has said that I'm the strongest person she knows. I think maybe during the treatment, she was as scared as I was. She says the strength she saw in me was what got her through it all. Mom and Dad also say that one of these days, I'm going to have to give in and get my hair cut. We'll see about that. <laughs> if I do, I want to donate it to be made into a wig so my hair can go right on keeping someone else from being bald. My favorite thing in the world, next to hockey, of course, <laughs> is musical theater. I can't remember ever going to be anything other than a Broadway star. I like to sing along with all the songs, and that drives my brothers crazy, which is a bonus. <laughs> the thing about a musical is that in every show, there is some kind of big conflict that the characters have to face, something tough or scary that they have to work through to get to the happy ending. I've already done that. I faced a crappy birthday present, I lost my hair, and I made it through. And I'm here to tell you, you can get through anything too. Now I'd like to sing one of my favorite Broadway songs just for you. It's about being popular, and I think there's someone here who needs help with that. Ryan, Ryan. get out of here. <laughs> Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's face it, who isn't less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply 
have to take over. I know, I know. Exactly what they need. And even in his case, though it's the toughest case I've yet to face, don't worry. Thank you.